Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to give an update on some of the progress I've made in various areas. Uh, one of them being the game, but I have mostly been working tangential to the game and I've been working on a build system configuration tool and I will get more into the details of why and how in a separate video because that can be quite a rabbit hole. I've also been doing some experiments with one of the luminaries that I've been working on and it is looking promising, so I will show some footage of that as well. For the LED luminary that I'm working on, I started with half a hollow glass sphere that is crackled, and I glued five addressable LEDs on the bottom of it. When I was trying it, I thought that the LEDs was a bit too visible, so I tried to put different things inside of it. Here it is with a die, and here it is with a sock. I thought that the sock looked kinda good, so I decided to spray paint the inside black. Here is some footage of how it looks. I wanted to make a base for it that I wanted to make from wood, and I wanted to use the CNC machine for this, but the CNC machine does not have position feedback, so it can suffer step loss which can cause problems. So this prompted me to investigate if I could cut out a nice thin metal mask that I could use for an optical quadrature encoder, which led me into building this electric discharge machining head. These two springs are put in a cross that makes it so that the needle can go up and down but doesn't move in sideways. And I mounted this electromagnet on a piece of fiberglass on top of it so that it can pull on it. The electromagnet is made from electrical steel, which lessens the losses in the material as the magnetic field is fluctuating. The magnet turned out to be quite strong and here I'm lifting a heavy adjustable spanner with it. Here I'm testing that the head functions, but later on I'm going to have proper control logic for it, so right now it is simply putting the current through the needle is also through the magnet and this is not ideal. Because of the way I was doing this test, I also Oops. had a problem where I welded the tip to the workpiece and it burnt the magnet so I probably have to rewind it. But other than that it's looking pretty good and I think that I can make a nice electric discharge machining machine. I may opt to use some other method for solving the position feedback and for making thin films I may also opt to use an optical method so there are many ways which I can use to solve these problems and this was just one of the different avenues I tried. I've been working on a build system for the game project or actually more of a build configuration system that, where the goal is that it's going to emit a make file for GNU make. In a separate video I'm going to go into more details of this project and also some of the motivation of making my own system rather than using an existing one. I've also been doing some audio processing experiments where I've been mapping a discrete Fourier transform onto a height map. Here I have my DFT test and if I make some sounds there will be a ring forming. And in some cases you can see some overtones. In the hobby space I've been working on setting up shelves on the wall so that I can start moving some things there and that will help me to be more productive when it comes to the lamp projects that I have. I want to make more in-depth videos on some of the topics that I've touched on here, but I don't really know any time frame for these things, so they will happen when they happen. Thank you everyone for watching and good luck in all your endeavors.